and welcome back to the happy heart i'm so glad that you guys came over today to watch this um entire house cleaning i did not realize that i really needed to clean my house and then i started um thinking about doing a cleaning video and uh the more i looked around i was like oh my gosh i have to get this done so um you can see i just don't have a lot of makeup on and it's pretty late at night and that's when i clean a lot of the time and I just needed to get this done a few days ago my son and I built a fort in the living room and oh my goodness it was very very fun but I just thought hey I will um, fold all these blankets up no big deal and then you'll see there is a bunch of stuff in the floor and I did not realize any of that had gone on. But this is one of the things on our summer bucket list that we made at the beginning of the summer and it was just a really fun thing we did a couple of nights ago and he actually slept in it I think one or two nights and it was a big hit in our house. So like I told you guys before, I started taking blankets off and realized that there was a bunch of stuff in this fort and we had put blankets on the bottom and pillows and everything like that because oh, the hardwood floor was not fun to lay on and we actually watched like a movie under there and um, some stuff like that together. So I did not realize there was all this stuff and you can see there's about a zillion stuffed animals. And I was just like, oh my goodness. So you'll see, um, I kind of make him pick up the stuffed animals and take those all away and um, kind of help make him help me, you know, put things away as well. And that's kind of how it goes in my house. Um, if I'm having a hard time or I'm doing something that just seems like a lot of somebody else's mess, I will call and just say, hey, can you help me? And I'm usually like, nice about it I'm not like demanding or anything but more of like hey can you just come pick up this and um, we kind of have just mutual respect that way and if my son calls for me I go to him and he comes to me and it works out really well actually so
previous cleaning videos, I actually had a conversation in the comments um, with one of you guys and y'all were telling me about this method wood spray and it's for dusting and if you're new to my channel I always tell everyone I love to dust that's like my thing I like the way it looks like I could dust every day like it doesn't bother me or anything because I like the way it looks and so I'm a little bit obsessed with it um, I don't do it every day but I wish I could and so you guys uh, told me about the method wood spray and that you guys liked it so I actually went out when I was at Target and purchased it. Um, I have a previous video that I'll link above and I have a cleaning products haul um, that I went to Target and got a couple of other things. But this was one of them and I really see what people talk about when they talk about the almond scent of this. It's really nice and um, I do have to say I miss the convenience of my pledge. Um, that I was using because you can use it on all different surfaces the one that I usually use but I do like the smell of this and um, I felt like it cleaned really really well I'm really curious in a couple of days how everything's gonna look so I will keep you guys updated but I wanted to tell you all that because I really care what you guys think and what you comment about and somebody had told me this and so the next time I was at Target I literally was like I'm gonna buy it because I just felt like it was my friend telling me hey you should try this and I was like yeah that's a good idea so I really value you know any and everything that you put in the comments this is my adventure jar um, I don't know if I've ever told you guys about it but I usually save stuff from um, just different things I do with my son or the family and um, different things that we do during the year and we put it in our adventure jar and that adventure jar is actually about two years worth of adventuring um, I need to get a new one but I have an old adventure jar from two years before that so I'm trying to make this one last but I put some movie tickets in there and then those um, little coin things were from like a science center that me and my son had went to um, while we were visiting my husband um, when he was traveling for one of his work trips. So um, I try to just keep everything and put it in the venture jar and then later on in life it'll be fun to look back at things like that. You guys will notice that there is a little chess set on my table and that's because my son and my mom are actually having a virtual chess game and so um, that's why there is a little chess set on my table so I know it's a funny thing to kind of leave out but I wanted to leave it somewhere where it wouldn't get like knocked down or broken or anything like that so um, that's kind of a little funny summer thing of why that's on my table.
up just kind of spot mopping basically every place in my house that was hardwood. And so I did my entryway, my dining room, and I ended up doing my living room, hallway, and all that. I think I got most of it all filmed, but um, just so you guys know, I just kind of spot mopped and kind of went around and did everything that was the hardwood. Um, I had cleaned my kitchen a day or two ago really in depth and I had um, cleaned the floor in there and you'll see when it comes down to my bathroom that I was just getting super tired so I did not clean the floor in there this night and so I will do that probably tomorrow but um, that's just how it kind of went today and when I'm not doing a really deep clean I just kind of do that I go around and I spot mop and um, it works out really good I I really enjoy um, the steam mop. I feel like it works really well in my hardwood floors. While I was cleaning the rest of my house, I had my son doing a couple different things here and there. And it doesn't really look like he did any work for me, but um, I had him pick up some of his toys. I had him pick up some of the trash in this room. So it's not as messy as it was, but oh, can you look at all that? It really is messy. So um, basically it was more of just like random stuff everywhere. And I just had to get everything picked up and cleaned up. And there we had just been eating in there and kind of um, been a little too laxed lately about all that kind of stuff. Uh, he was in there watching The Big Bang Theory, which is kind of like a family favorite of ours if you guys watch that show. And we tend to stack up movies like this all the time. So it took us a while, but we got everything put away and in its case. And he came and helped me and we got all that worked out but I'm sure that happens in everybody's home who has DVDs and things like that but oh it seems to be such a problem in my house I always have a stack that needs to be put away at one point or another
there were no towels hanging in here earlier because I had picked them all up previously and washed them um, hours earlier. So these are all fresh new towels that I'm hanging up right now. And I always hang the double towels over here on my towel rack. And I try to just make it look pretty. And then over here for the hand towels, um, if you guys are new to my channel, you'll know that I always put two kind of hand towels, like a hand towel and a wash rag type of towel because I always feel like when you go to somebody's house and there's other people and you're drying your hands, that that one towel gets kind of used a lot and I always like to have a second option. guys didn't see is that I had stuff um, from making dinner so I had um, taco stuff out all over the counters and everything like that and when I went to film me putting it all away um, I totally cut myself off in the frame so um, I really did have to like pick up and clean uh, the left side of the counter is what I used the most and so I had to just kind of put some stuff away and then um, do all the dishes from tonight's dinner and load the dishwasher and get that going um, so I could unload it in the morning. don't know um, this is my favorite part of cleaning the kitchen I love cleaning out the sink I feel like that just makes the kitchen fresh and makes everything smell really good and so it's my favorite part and sometimes I do it more than once actually um, but most of the time I just do it after I do the dishes and I don't know it just feels like that's the last step and it's complete to me so you could tell I have some quirky things about cleaning, but I think everybody does. haven't 
noticed, I've been using the all-purpose spray from Mrs. Myers in the Honeysuckle scent, and I love, love this scent. I'm not crazy about all the scents from Mrs. Myers, even though you'll hear people on YouTube brag and brag about them. I'm just not a big fan, but this Honeysuckle scent, I love. It gives your kitchen such a fresh scent. I also used it in my bathroom as well. So I just wanted to throw that out there that, you know, it's something that if you're in the store and you see it, it's worth the try. So thank you guys so much for coming over and hanging out with me today. And I hope that this motivated you to kind of just pick a room and start cleaning. I did not even realize that my house was this terrible until I got the camera out and I was like, oh man. So thank you guys so much. These are the products that I used throughout my whole house today, so not very many. And that glass cleaner comes from the Dollar Tree, so you can't go wrong with that. And it's awesome too. But I will see you guys in my next brand new video. Thank you again. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and those bell notifications. See you in the next one. Bye.